Hello everyone, my name is Bella, welcome back to my channel and in this video we are going to be talking about yet another very triggering topic but this is what we like to do on this channel, you know, to, you know, stir the pot a little bit and make some of you all realize how this fucking world works, okay? So, yeah. And as the name of the video suggests, we are going to be talking about the scientific way of um, saying this is dual mating strategy, okay? What is this dual mating strategy? There is a dual mating strategy for men and women alike, so it's not like one of them is, you know, different than the other, one of them is like, you, you know, has a... All of them have a dual mating strategy, okay? So let's first look at how it applies to the content that i'm talking about on this channel all right so the dual meeting strategy for women is that they are naturally attracted to alpha males because they can provide the best genes for their offsprings okay so of course every woman as she should is going to pick a guy who is resourceful, who is healthy, and who is strong. Because having these kind of specific having these kind of specifics in this this kind of genetic material in her child is going to ensure that the child is going to survive. Oh my god, yes, we are primal beings, okay? We are here to survive, okay? So of course this is going to be, you know more likely to happen than her wanting to mate with somebody who is not resourceful, not healthy, who is, you know, fat or whatnot. So this is just how the nature works, okay? And, but on the other hand, that's why it's dual mating strategy. Women do prefer to settle down with a man that is more of a beta. And why is this? Because he's more likely to stay around and actually provide, right? Because these resourceful men or like, you know, strong men, whatever, they are, you know, they are going to be out there and doing whatever the thing they want. You know, it's, the, it's a similar thing with successful politicians or um, sports players, right? Like, it is very rarely that they just stay with one woman at the same time and um, that they keep providing for the child, right? And another thing that I have to mention is sometimes the women get impregnated by an alpha male because that's the one that brings the best genes. However, they are going to settle down with a beta who is sometimes not even the father of the child simply because he's going to stay around right so i have read an article that says that women go through cycles you know like um through her menstrual cycle at some points of it she's going to be more attracted into alphas and another point she's going to be more attracted into betas or wanting to you know um call in one like that because that one is going to stay around and uh, likely also take care of the child that is not of him not from him right so yeah i know this might trigger a lot of people a lot of men that are like um you know they're like yeah i'm not gonna take care of another child like enough of another man's child but this is where cuckolding comes into play because I have also read articles that cuckolding is a very common phenomenon in the animal kingdom, right? So the females out there sometimes get pregnant with who knows who, right? But then there is another male who actually is there to take care of the children right and these men actually like to do it because they are cuckolds right like they enjoy knowing that this woman is actually you know um got it from somebody who is of greater status than he is and um he thinks that it's an honor for him to even be able to be with a woman right and this is very 
it occurs in the nature a lot and especially with the males out there that there is one that is going to be more inclined into the cuckolding um, lifestyle and the other one who is more going to be into the alpha lifestyle now i'm not saying that there are no variations of it i have met a lot of people a lot of guys that they have a variety of alpha signs and beta signs okay so both of them actually have their own red flags and their own green flags it's not like one is better than the other it's just different okay it's the dual mating strategy it's just it's just two different poles of the dating strategy when it comes to women okay like when it comes to men picking their um women picking their men right so um yeah none of them is better than the other none of them nobody is just like just white or just black you know i mean that sounded racist but you know what i mean like nobody is just one or the other usually it's a mixture unless you have been on my channel for a very long time and you are so addicted to me then you are definitely like very deep into the beta state but you know like generally most men out there are a mixture but they do have inclinations right so this is the dual dating strategy when it comes to women and cuckolding is a very common phenomenon in the animal kingdom also with humans with the male humans not as much with women like you don't really see women that like to cuckold because it's just not how we have developed right like we think differently our brains think differently and we're made differently okay and just so i like to trigger women as well not just men out there we are going to talk about the dual mating strategy when it comes to the to men how men pick women okay because it's it's also different okay like it's also it's not straightforward they also have like duality in it so speaking of which men are more inclined to search for variety of women than just going for one for his entire life um they want to try different things why because they are trying to pass on their genes they have literally like very little investment on passing their genes we know like they don't have to bury the child they don't have to you know a lot of the times they don't even have to provide right but um especially in the animal kingdom right like he just does his job and he's off to another adventures or whatnot whereas women they do not have such a, uh, a big desire for variety or like to spread on their genes like men do right so this is something that needs to be understood as well however men do settle okay there is no such thing like men don't want to settle they do however they're also very careful with the type of women they settle with yes they want to try on try different women they want to pass on their genes on as many women as possible however there is only this one specific woman who is of, oftentimes like the most beautiful or the most worthy in his eyes or the most lovable that he's actually going to settle and provide for okay so they have a desire for um, variety however their their likelihood of settling down with a certain woman is less than the one the likelihood of a woman settling down with a certain man okay like men are more picky about that right anyways that's all i wanted to talk to you guys in this video it was a little bit of a you know more scientific topic and also more triggering but i like to talk about science so <laughs> i hope this video helped you and i'll see you in my next one bye